Hello and welcome back to my closet. My name is Push. Every time I come on here, I want to say AKA the Creative Queen. I need to find a nice, nice intro. But thank you for clicking on this video. Today, I'm reviewing my autumn uh, looks um, featuring my leather jackets. I'm currently wearing my one of my favorite i only have two leather jackets that is but um this is also like one of my favorite leather jackets um i think you've seen it on the other video about uh different outfits to wear click on the i card if you want to do that um about different outfits to wear to date um and yeah this is my fit of course with autumn what you need to consider is that fact that it's not too hot and it's not too cold so you don't want to show too much skin but you don't want to show skin so we bring back a lot of the t-shirts um into my wardrobe i'm bring, i'm digging them up again uh, because it's not that warm i mean because it's not that cold and the leather jackets are there just to you know to add the swag so i have picked out three favorite looks using my two uh, leather jackets let's take a look at those jackets let's get into the video Let's do it like this. Uh, I fell in love with them bosses. I fell in love with them bosses. I could pull up in pajamas. I could pull up in pajamas. I got that feel the garage. 911 look like where in my Baby mama look like Nicki Minaj. Little Mikey look like me. Oh my gosh. Money looking like it's heavenly sent. So for this look, I am going for an all black look. Um, uh, all black, a plain black t-shirt, a plain black skinny jeans with my white all-stars and white socks um, at the bottom and i'm wearing a scarf a silk scarf um, the silk scarf kind of gives it a softer look um, because the biker jacket kind of gives it a very like a very masculine um, look to the outfit so i like just putting on the the beanie i love beanies i love headgear um, i'm still taking my beanies into summer because uh Plain t-shirts are such an essential to your wardrobe and you're going to wear them over and over again or quite frequently or more than once a week. You want to have a couple of um, plain uh, t-shirts in your wardrobe and the best quality that I've, in my experience, that I've gotten are from um, Woolies. So that is definitely an investment because you're going to wear a plain t-shirt like frequently and obviously the general wear and tear of the t-shirt as you wear it will come into play. So. Um, so invest in the quality of your playing t-shirt so that you don't have to buy it over and over again and it won't uh, wear and tear as fast. So that is my all black look for autumn. Um, tell me what you think in the comments below. Do you like it? Do you like it with the beanie or not? Or what would you add to the outfit to make it your own? For me, this is the look that I'm going for. Like I'm saying, the jacket gives it a very masculine look, but the scarf kind of softens it up, and I really, really enjoy this look. This next look definitely is inspired by Mandy Sityanki. Say, um, if you've been to any of his shows, or if if we can, it can will know um, that Mandy C enjoys wearing these silk scarves, and that's where I kind of like fell in love with the with the idea of of scarves and how I could incorporate that into my own style. So again, we're going for a plain black T-shirt. Um, now we're pairing it with a brown scarf to kind of match the pants. The pants I got from a surprise a while back. Um, very comfortable pants. I fold them at the bottom because I don't like how they're cut at the bottom. I generally just love cuffing my pants at the bottom. I think that's my swag, I think. Um, so I just cuff them at the bottom and uh, wear this with um, my black leather jacket. Um, was a bit of a debate in terms of the beanie that I was going to wear with this look, whether it was a mustard beanie or a black beanie. But again, like I'm saying, I love beanies and I want to bring that beanie look into my summer wardrobe as well, uh, my spring summer wardrobe and winter, I mean, sorry, my autumn wardrobe as well. So I'm wearing this with a beanie and you can also do it without a beanie. A beanie is not really essential, but I think it's like my own unique touch to the outfit. So this is how I will be wearing this outfit, definitely inspired by Mandy Sijanjisi, shout out, shout out, shout out, my favorite jazz, jazz artist. Um, yeah, that is my autumn look number two. All right, so for the last look, um, going with my biker jacket, the one that I'm wearing right now. I thrifted this biker jacket um, from If Ungwase Centurion, you will know where Oliven is. If you remember Oliven, there were street vendors who were selling clothes, 
or selling used clothes um, I was in the area and I was like that jacket I need it so I got this jacket from there um, with this look uh, it kind of like it reminds me of like a 1993 movie um, with the style um, so what I did with it, um, I played around with it uh, before I actually got to this outfit. It's this one that I'm wearing. I'm wearing it with a, a t-shirt that my sister got me. Um, a white t-shirt with my white Air Force Ones. And I really enjoy this look um, with my, uh, with a cap. Um, I don't like it when it's faced the proper way. I like turning it around, kind of gives it a very edgy look, very tomboyish look. Uh, it kind of makes it lean towards the more masculine look. With my pants, I'm always, I love uh, my skinny jeans and I always wear skinny jeans. Um, yeah, that's the look. Last look is again with this uh, biker jacket, but the only difference is I exchanged the the white t-shirt for a black t-shirt um, and then change switch it up at the shoes with some vans and I'm gonna wear it with a durag I tried it with a white durag I'm not really a fan of the white durag I thought I would be when I got it but I just can't find the right outfit to pair with um, the white durag so I'm gonna wear this look with a black durag and some vans again it kind of gives it a very vintage look the vans and the and the biker jacket go very very well together. At the bottom, I always cuff my jeans. Like I said, I don't like how jeans just end. Like they need to have some sort of like texture and like you know. Um, and yeah, that's my biker jacket look number four. If you like this video, do give it a thumbs up and thank you so much for watching. I'll be back with other looks next week. In the comments below, show me or tell me what looks you want me to explore. I'm definitely loving uh, this channel and where it's going. Thank you so much for subscribing. Tell your friends to tell your friends to come to this channel if they want to know everything about fashion. Anyway, I'll see you on the flip side. Bye! If you mind,